Hey guys, it's Tarko Cycling FPV, and I'm going to be working on a quad. <coughs> Boy, excuse me, sorry. I'm going to be working on a quad that caught on fire <laughs> not too long ago while I was flying it, actually. Um, kind of scared the crap out of me, so uh, let me show you what we're working with today. Uh, we're going to go this direction. So here it is right here, and let me see if I can angle this camera properly. Give me one second. There we go. All right, I think that'll do. So now we can zoom in. So this quad actually yeah, kind of caught me by surprise and caught fire uh, out of nowhere. Um, well, technically not out of nowhere. I did hit a field goal, a uh, goal post. So, um, and then it flew back, uh, or I went and picked it up actually. Um, the battery came dislodged. I picked it up and uh, plugged the battery back in and the thing caught fire pretty bad actually. I mean, like it smoked really bad. So um, immediately, threw it on the ground and then got to unplug the lipo and I don't I haven't touched it since so it's, it's been a probably a month or so I haven't flown so it's been a while um, but I am now gonna see what's up with it and see what we have to do to fix it so this will be us opening it for the first time and finding out together how bad I messed it up okay first thing I'm gonna do is try to get rid of these zip ties Let me see if I can there you go. Yeah, I, I uh, wasn't proud of that moment. One of the many flying moments I wasn't proud of. All right, so let's get this. And then where's my, see my BTX? I thought it fit through here. So let's see if we can get it to fit. There we go. So with that piece aside, and uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, we have another zip tie here. And with that, we have our antenna here. You know what, I'll have to fix that. I'll right, leave that aside. Okay, so now we're gonna get into this. You can see it burned, I mean like it literally singed through everything here. So, let's see if we can get this off. What is this? Email's coming through, all right. Hey babe. Yes sir. Remember when this drone caught on fire? Yes. Yeah, so I'm finally, op I'm finally opening it up now. I'm doing, a, I'm doing a video on it. Yeah, pretty bad, huh? <laughs> One of those moments. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Uh, let's take out the VTX. This is, I remember um, Rush FPV, I just got the tank in, and yeah, that's what happened. But my guess is something got compressed somehow, and being an idiot about it, I didn't bother to check it thoroughly. I was ready to get back and fly. <laughs> and now I paid the price, so let's see what we got. If I can just stop dropping it, we'll do it. All right, get this out of here. Move this over here. Okay, so I guess, wow, look at that, I gotta zoom in to really appreciate this. <laughs> look at that mess. Uh, believe it or not, I'm hoping that the, uh, the tank is salvageable. Um, the Zeus that was on here is completely crushed and 
what it looks like is that the ground solder came off uh, on the impact and just totally shorted out the board and then had itself a little more fire in the process. All right, so let's go ahead and remove it all. We'll see if we can salvage any of this. I'm gonna be hopeful, although that doesn't look too good right there, does it? Oof, golly. Well, shit, that's not very good at all. Yep. All right, let's get the antenna off. Let's get some heat going so I can melt this glue around it. Peel it off. You get all that burn off there. Look at that. You can see the, the logo a little bit now. Let me zoom out a little bit there. That looks pretty bad though. <sighs> all right. Let's get the solder gun. Hit that. Be interesting to see if we can salvage that VTX. I don't think so, but be neat. It'd definitely be some bragging points for, uh, well, I mean, not that Rush FPV needs bragging points from any of my work, but I still think it's bragging points to be able to say, man, this thing went up. You could see the flames. It was pretty bad. And if it survived, that would be amazing. I mean, it melted. You could see it melted the nylon standoff. So. That in itself says a lot about the heat. All right, so we've got our soldering iron up, so let's go ahead and just, let me get this cleaned off real quick. Let's go ahead and start removing these things bit by bit. We also have our receiver. So we know the Zeus is toast, right? I mean, there's no, there's no discussion about that there. Um, and, oof, now we gotta see how we're gonna do this. I don't know, I don't know if this is possible, but let's go ahead and we'll try to clean it up. Alright, so there's our... Oh, you know what? It looks pretty bad, babe. This is like toast. Oh my god, you should come see this. Look at this. I mean, it's really bad. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, isn't that great? It's like brown. Ooh. Yeah, no, br brown was one stage before this. <laughs> So now I'm just trying to scrape off all the burnt stuff off of this. Pretty bad. Yeah, doesn't look. Doesn't look promising. Doesn't look good. No. Hey, babe, can you grab me a um? Can you grab me? Oh, you know what? I have one. Never mind. I have the new Zeus here. I'm gonna use that. Try to fix this. See what? See if the. We need to see if some of it's salvageable. Yeah. Right. <sighs> okay. So you found the goggles. Okay. I don't think so. Well, they're there, so you're just not seeing them. They're there because we brought them and you took them upstairs. They're sitting in a case. They, they come in this. Remember when you look, I remember, but when you order them and you're like, oh, if these are good, I'm going to order more. Nope, they, and I did, and they're here. Are you sure? All right, so let me clean this off. Me not answering you is me telling you they're here. Okay. Well, I will most likely need your help. Nope, I'm not going to help you. That's you who put them away. Oh, you can find them. I have faith in you. Use the force or whatever you're supposed to do. All right. But they're here, I promise you. Okay, so there is the... You know what you need to do? It was in a cardboard box. They came in packs of, I believe, uh, uh, 10 or maybe I got 50 of them. No, yeah, they came in boxes of maybe 20 and there was five boxes. Five cardboard boxes. Okay. So that's out. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot and see if we can fix this. We know that we cannot use the board, so we might as well go ahead and just remove everything off of it, right? Well, somebody wants to get off. 
to there, so let's just cut it. There we go. Wires still seem okay, so we're going to use that. Let's just clear off all the old stuff. There we go. And now we're going to take the ESC, take the motors off the ESCs here. We do that if we can, if we can salvage any of it. One, two, and three. All right, folks, and there you have it. Oop, got to take my receiver off of one. There it is. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Yep. Good old-fashioned caught on fireboard. That looks terrible. Samantha, did you build this one? No. <laughs> All right, well, there's that. So that Zeus is fried. And now we gotta clean up this quad a little bit. See what we can salvage on it. Some of the motor wires have been burned down to a crisp, but I think they'll be okay. Let's go ahead and try to clean those up. Look at the nastiness it's on my table now. Sorry about that. There we go. Oh man, all right. Motor screws come out next. Put those over here and then we'll clean up. Okay, one more motor. All right, so there we go. Motor's out. Motors are out. Now let's just kind of wipe this table down a little bit, get some of this trash out of here. This is, looks really bad. I'll have to vacuum it later, but for right now, let's just see if we can all this burn stuff and crap that came off of there. Okay, let's get another wipe.
quick. I'm going to turn the vacuum on. It's going to be a little loud for just a second. some of this aluminum and it's gonna I don't think the burn is gonna come off here but that's fine there we go we got those ready to go and now let's look at our motors and see if we can clean off some of this uh, shrink wrap or the heat shrink yep. that looks good we can just trim these wires a little bit and redo those clean. Now it's a matter of figuring out what we're going to do with this. So let's clean up the frame now. Got a lot of burn marks on here. Yeah, we've melted a lot of things. The nylon that's still on there is melted to it. So let's, let's clean that off next by removing those screws. Looks pretty bad. What? Oh, I know. She's just sitting there quiet, huh? Yeah, she's being normal for once. Oh, check out this one. She got lamp feet? Yeah. Get your little lamp feet going, noodles. Where's wonton and lo mein? In there, kind of. Noodles, wonton. Can I uh, take these or are you keeping them? What's that, babe? Can I begin to label these panda? Uh, yeah, but can you put them back? Yeah. Yeah, because I want to do a video on those next. Whenever I ever finish doing cleaning, if I'll ever finish cleaning. So in the new building, am I going to be in the lab, like working? Is that the idea? No. Be, you, like where, where's going to be my sh place to work? Your office. I can't do builds in my office. It's my office. That's like for executive stuff. Come okay. on. Am I not going to have, am I going to try to fake it and have an executive meeting? Well, we didn't know you. We didn't build you a workshop, we didn't know you needed one. Yeah, I have a lab going up, the lab, where the students are going to be working. Oh, okay. Can I work there? I suppose. That's great. Y'all are very kind. I, I, I want to try to like have an office where you actually have meetings. Everybody has to wear a white t-shirt. If you overdress, you're not allowed in. That'd be awesome. Dress code is super casual or you're a crook. Okay, so we got one more to put in. Actually, we're we're out of the salvage the spacers. It's just the um, the the nylon fasteners that were pretty cooked. So the spacer survived. So we're gonna I'm gonna try to use reuse as much as I can to see how much real damage is in this, and also give you guys an idea, you know, of what you can expect, I guess, so that you don't get gouged by somebody who after you've had a drone fire. All right, anyways. Most of you will probably never have one, because you're smarter than I am. Okay, so let's go to the new HGLRC Zeus 35. It's a brand new board, recently released. <clears throat> and let me see how they've laid this out now. So Zeus HGLRC must have laid this out like this, which is a little weird, but that's fine. Okay, because of the rubber, the soft mounts on here, we can get rid of some of this I think but let me see and then we're going to try to put this um, if it's salvageable put on top like right there that's not bad can you see mm, 
it's a little tight. We'll see. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'd like to do, because of how much space we have on the bottom here, I'm going to go ahead, if I can get this off. Okay, so let's put that back. All right, for the Zeus, though, we don't need all the standoffs because the Zeus itself sits pretty high off the board, off the frame. So let's go ahead and remove these and see where we're at. Maybe a small spacer, but nothing like three millimeters. This is a total of three millimeters. So let me just see. Uh, that's going to take up two. I may have to put one millimeter in there, but we'll see. to a side, button that. What's up, babe? What's up? I love you. I think I know where the goggles are. <laughs> you know, I was telling Adam when you were, uh, I think you'd gone outside. Yeah. I was like, you know, you just have to plant a seed to make her mad. like. No, I'm not going to help you. You should know where they are. And then it'll sit in your brain, and then eventually, you'll just figure it out. Well, I don't, I don't like that. I know. <laughs> don't be rude. No, it's not rude. It's like waking up your inner... Okay. It's because I can't hypnotize you. Well, so next if time I you're hip... like, hey, babe, can you give me a... Like, no, I'm not, I can't help you. <laughs> no. I mean, and then we'll see how far It you works get. for you. I said it's you. Well, Every I... person's different. You can't apply what works for you and say, okay, I'm going to use it on you now. Let's see if it'll work. You're not okay. I'm done talking. <laughs> you can see that this is not working. You're not understanding. I did this for you, babe. Help me help you, Jerry. All right, I'm gonna go label my right. Panda RC stuff, um, get the goggles and get everything shipped out, and then I'm gonna go get dog food. Okay, well, I have bad news that this Zeus won't fit, so that's a problem. I can't no. help you. Thanks, babe. It's good talking to you. Love you. Love you. Okay, so... I could tell you where to find something that was good. Not talking to you, babe. Have fun. Appreciate your help. Yeah. Yas. Oh, hi. Isn't that what that cat says? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Well, hi. Well, hi. That's it. Well, hi. <laughs> uh, hey, my son. What did he do? He pulled out a second tooth today. They, what do you call that tooth? Is that the canine? Canine. Woo, my kid pulled out a second canine today. He looks like uh, he's got a big gap. Now he's like got a reverse vampire. Yeah, reverse vampire. That's exactly right. Okay, so um, this was not going to fit the way I was hoping it would because the frame won't fit this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up putting it to where the power will come out the side, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use the USB out the back. We'll still be able to access it without any problem, but that's going to be the pretty much method in order to get this frame to fit around. So, now looking at this, let's go ahead and look at this Zeus 35 uh, uh, manual and see what we got to work with here. All right. What is this? Uh, can you post it to if you get an email? What's that? Can you post it to if you get an email back from that person that we're Okay. Okay, we're going to go to the English side because my Mandarin or Chinese is not as good. Um, all right, so underneath our, uh, underneath our USB. <coughs> Excuse me. Is going to be our uh, our uh, looks like it's going to have our S bus and everything else, our all our connections to it. So we're going to go ahead and use that. So let me go ahead and prep that up real quick. Get rid of this nasty napkin. And where is my flux pen? Looking at this, let's see what's on the other side. So on the other side, noodles. 
We have all our VTX uh, attachments, so that's fine. I have not had a chance to test to see if this is burned out or broken or not yet, but we'll give it a shot together and see what we've got left. Okay, so uh, camera, VTX, and on this side we're using our FreeSky uh, XM Plus or whatever. Okay. Hmm, where am I at? Okay, let's go ahead and pre-tin it. Just gonna heat up these real quick. Look at that. Woo! That was good. Came out nice. I uh, try to do these motors, I guess, as well if we want. There we go. All right, so there we go. Okay, if you want to look at that, came out good. Everything is tinned properly, I'm ready to go. Okay, I have not done this side yet, but I will. Uh, I am noticing though that the way this board, it almost seems as though the way they want you to mount this board, uh, let me see what we got here, is, is with the USB down. So I'm gonna go ahead and go that approach. But to do that, I'm gonna have to well, I need to see how much room we got once I do that. So let me get these screws in order. One. Of course, two. Three. I realize now that I'm super zoomed in, so let me zoom out here. There we go. And that's gonna work perfect right there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that just like that. And let me see how much room I have left. It looks like I'm gonna have plenty of room for this as well. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go that route. Now, just to hold it in place, I'm gonna put a couple fasteners just so it doesn't pop, pop out while I'm working on it. But these will be removed as soon as we add our VTX, okay? All right. Okay. So first thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get ready to get the motors mounted, get the wiring done on that. So now I'm gonna add a little bit more solder here to each one and make sure because I wasn't sure if I was going to put them on this side or put the wiring on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this side. And to make sure I still have enough wire, oh, which I do, I have plenty of wire. Holy moly, I have too much wire. That's all right. We'll make it work. I'm not going to trim this back much more than that. All right, let me see. Even if I did. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm shipping the goggles and everything, and I chose the USPS 10 pound shipping option. That's correct, right? I don't know. How much does it weigh? It weighs three pounds, but there's, <laughs> no, there's not. It stops at, uh, it stops at. What's the pounds. shipping? Two dollars. Wait, that's how much it costs? That's what it, yeah, that's what it charges. No, you gotta use priority shipping. There's no way priority shipping is two bucks. 
It just says USPS 10 pound shipping and then in parentheses it says UPS auction. Okay, well, I, both of those are wrong. Okay, so. All right, so let me get this motor put. No wonder, I think these screws might be a little long for the motor. So let's see if we can get something a little shorter. Those are six millimeters, so. Hmm. Actually, let me see. Might not be too bad. No, that'll be okay. I think we can use that. Okay, so we can use that to get an idea of how long the wires need to be. And so what we're going to do is we will take the wires and make them that length right there. And then we'll cut this excess off. And let's see how long that is. Say that from the frame, that we could do 50 millimeters. So if we did 50 on all the motors, I think we'd be okay. Let's go ahead, like a haircut here, get them all even. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll just go through the rest of them and do the same thing because we want them to be uniform for sure. So let's measure 50 millimeters and cut them. So 50, right there. One more, and we'll be humming along here. So there we go. So we've got everything cut to 50 millimeters. Now we're gonna tin the motor wires. So let's get ready for that. Sorry guys, that's my phone going crazy. All right, so we're just gonna strip the wires here real quick, tin them up. And then get ready to solder them onto the flight controller. Okay, I'm going to do them all at one time. So I don't have to keep coming back here with the tool. Give a shout out to my kids, Ashton, Landon, and Jaden. Love you all very much. Can't wait to see you on Thursday. Give a shout out to everybody else. If you get time, check out our website, fightfordads.com. You can see some videos on Judge Suzanne Stovall as crooked as they come in Conroe, Texas, and a few other people out there that uh, we are going to fight hard against. Our justice system, I tell you, they sure do, they sure do uh, define crooked, but that's a whole different story. All right, so we're going to strip this one, last one. Off, and now we're going to go ahead and tin them and heat shrink them and then get them ready to be mounted. I was hoping I didn't have to do this part, so I apologize because I didn't know there was going to be this much of the video used for uh, prepping the motors, but uh, 
I didn't realize that it was gonna, once I turned the board, it was gonna be that short of a run for the motor wires. And I don't wanna leave them too long. It just doesn't look right. Um, all right, I'm gonna go get some uh, uh, solder paste, some of our solder paste, and I will be right back. Give me one. Took the trailer out to school this weekend at Westlake Middle School in Humble. Uh, John Cobb and Daryl Tompkins uh, together put on an event with the multi GB uh, with the uh, what is it called the uh, uh, oh man I hope this motor is good it looks burned we'll see maybe it's just cosmetic and nothing more all right so we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Uh, H squad. That's right, H squad guys. Uh, we're there. Put on a nice little fun race. Always a pleasure to be out there with them, everybody. Doing it for the kids. Help promote the uh, drone curriculum and other things uh, drone related that the schools are trying to do. So props to them. But uh, in preparing for it, I've got all my tools all over the place. So somehow my uh, solder paste is missing. All right, let's do one another motor. God, this stuff's nasty, but it works. Last one. There you go. Get the solder paste out of the way. All right, now let's get our first motor. Let's see what we're going to use. Um, let's just black it out. That's what I say. Is black it out. Let's see how much, see how much room we have. It's gonna be too close. You know what? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna end up taping it. I got that cool tape that I really want to use. So I'm gonna take these instead of heat shrink them this time. Kind of liking that look. Uh, nope. There we are. And then if I don't like it, I could always change it later. But I have been liking that uh, that taped look on the wires. So I may just go that route this time. All right, now, let me put these away. Three. 
Um, two there's three okay so we've got one more motor to go and I'll tell you guys a little interjection here about something yesterday I watched a movie called Midway and if you haven't seen it I will tell you that you should watch it why because uh, I think I learned a lot I know it's a movie and I know things are you know movies don't always depict everything at 100% but I'll tell you what I'm really sad to admit that I didn't know any of this when I went through school here, and I really felt like they didn't teach it. I mean, we knew Pearl Harbor, right? Uh, we knew December 7th. We knew all of that. What we didn't know is what happened afterwards. The Battle of Midway was never taught to us. I mean, none of this was. And I don't know why, but I'm going to tell you right now that it, it was, you know, when you look at idiots now walking around interrupting people's, you know, like right to vote and, you know, intimidating people and trashing their their um, you know trashing their campaign uh, displays and things like that like some idiots I just saw on the news that tore up a Republican thing somebody who ran a, <clears throat> tried to run over some people that were supporting Trump or whatever I mean you know these guys are pathetic and they are the epitome of what we fight against that dictator scary regime that wants to stop you from being able to express your thoughts. Well, I tell you what, those boys, those men and women over uh, Pearl Harbor and the pilots and everybody else that went into the Battle of Midway and everywhere else, uh, you know, I, they are the Americans. They are a hero. You know, they are respectful. They didn't even have to agree, but they did it. They, they understood the meaning of the word respect and honor and courage. These little punks now, forgive me for saying this, but most of you little punks just need your asses beat. And if there was a day given to us where we could go and teach you respect, stand up when the, when the national anthem is being played, don't spit on the American flag, help a veteran, have respect for what you've got, because I'll tell you what, none of you would last in a country like where I was born in the Middle East where that kind of crap gets you killed. You guys have no idea how good you have it and therefore you go talk shit about this country and the people. Sorry I won't dwell on about it, but I will say this, y'all are a bunch of cowards. Whether you like the president or don't like the president, you sure as hell better love this country and you better respect the way it is and how it's run. And if you think you can do better, then do it properly. Do it peacefully. Use your intelligence. People who use their strength literally have no intelligence. People who have intelligence realize they don't need strength. That old verbiage, the pen is mightier than the sword. Yeah, it actually is. Um, but for you ignorant young folks, and even some of the older ones, but really for the young generation, you don't, you don't understand and you don't appreciate what you have. One day I hope you do. Anyways, that's it. All right, that was what I watched last night, and I just, just kind of got to me. And for all those other people, I mean, wow. Uh, I, I had no idea how many heroes there truly were and what they went through. My respect to all of them more than I thought I had a lot of respect for them before. It's, 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 it's heartbreaking what they went through, and I definitely feel like I owe this country more than I've already, you know, more than I've given. 
because these guys gave everything. So anyways, that's that. If you get a chance, go watch the movie. It's a very good movie. Okay, so we've got our motors on. I'll tape these down in a little bit, but right now I'm just going to leave them loose so I can kind of run them the way I want. Okay. So let's line these up to keep the keep it nice. See, it's going to come out looking really good, I think, especially when we tape them. Okay, now looking at the manual, I'm trying to do as much as I can without using the magnifying glasses today, so bear with me. <clears throat> looking at the manual here, um, on, the, on the front side here, it looks like we are going to have, I guess I should have, uh, no, that's fine. This is the back side, so this is the, this is the front, but I think I put this, uh, I think I reversed it. Hmm. Let me see how I want this to fit. I'm, I'm hoping I didn't. I mean, I guess at worst case, I have to just remove the screws and move it around. I think it'll fit either way. Ideally, the board is supposed to be that's the front, that's the back. But you know what? Um, I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much. I think what I'll do is... No, I can't do that. All right. So, uh, well, screw it. I'll just make this the front and somehow figure out how to fit that uh, USB in there. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so anyways, um, so we're going to do this, and <clears throat> what I don't understand is they put the VTX on the opposite side of the USB, which is kind of weird, because then trying to make it the front isn't going to help at all. Uh, Alright, nonetheless, uh, let's just get going with this. So on this side, we are going to use the following. So we have our, uh, our S bus, our five volt and our ground. So we have right here, S bus five volt ground. And I'm gonna to try to use the same receiver. I think I just ripped the uh, sheeting off of that one, but that's all right. I think we're still gonna be okay. So let me go ahead and clean up these wires a little bit. Tin this up real quick. This ready to go. So again, we're gonna go ahead and solder this down. It'll take care of that for me. <clears throat> so uh, drawing has it as S bus is the second. So S bus here, but let's see if we can keep the wires in. So let's do, let's do it from the inside. S bus to the second position here. slipping because they got the uh, solder paste or the flex on them so kind of slippy to try to grab right now <coughs> all right so let's do the five volt let's see if I can get this to nope try something a little bit there we go okay and then the ground I am praying that I'm seeing this properly without my uh, glasses on Trying to see, I mean, with my glasses on without using the magnifying glass. All right, so let's wrap that up there. Okay, so there's our receiver. And let's see, on the other side, uh, we are going to be using, uh, let's see. The 
I'm not putting LEDs on this. I don't think we have them on here. I'll put them on later if I want them. Uh, so on the other side, we have our battery air gunner VTX, 5 volt TX1, uh, ground, uh, 5 volt, and camera. Okay. So let's grab our, uh, well, that was our camera wire. So we're going to go ahead and reuse this because this looks fine. Just cut off the burn portion. All right. So let's cut. Oh, I don't know. Let's cut that much off. Tin this up. Oh, okay. Stop fighting me here. Let's go one, two, three. There we go. So, as the instructions have it here, we have camera, five volt, and ground. So that'll be fine right here. So that's going to be camera. And then we have our VTX, and we're hoping that this VTX is salvageable. I'm probably going to regret this, but oh well. Let's have some fun with it anyway. All right, so this is the old board. I'm going to set that aside now because I need to use some wires here. I think I had some tank wires. Here they are. I'm just going to cut these. Let's see if I can use these. Oh, here's the... Hmm, this might have been the camera wire. Well, I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what we're working with here. Uh, we have our ground, our power, our video, and our smart audio. And then here we have our VTX, battery, ground, and then they said TX1, so I'm assuming that's not going to be used for the uh, S-Bus, so we'll see how that's going to work. I wonder, do they tell you where they want you to put your smart audio on this one? Oh no, they're using, oh yeah, TX1 for smart audio, it says right there. Excellent. So they made this pretty easy. All right, so let's cut the wire, and let's get going. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll elect to use the yellow cable for smart audio, or no, I mean for our, uh, for our video, VTX. So let's go ahead and just turn that up. Okay, let's get our get the VTX ready. to our uh, positive here and our ground and you know what maybe we'll use oh I don't know white white will be our 
uh, smart audio. Good, find a place to hold this wire so I can tin it. There we go. Got to make do with what you got, so. Okay, so there's a smart audio. Let's go ahead and solder that on there. All right. Then we need our power, which is here. So we're gonna go ahead and get that on there. Oh no, I hit the smart audio. Uh, such is the first mistake by not using my goggles. My magnifying goggles, but that's all right. We're gonna go ahead. I'm not giving up. We're gonna do it without it. There we go. There we go. And then our ground. And that should do it. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, it looks decent for not wearing my. Magnify, if not using the magnifying goggles, I think it looks good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the uh, glue on here so I can just touch a little bit, a little bit of this with glue. And now we can go ahead and open up these other ends and make sure that we have enough wire to tin them and let's get them all the same length. So here it goes. There we go. So now we're gonna tin these. One, two, Three and four. Make sure you twist up the uh, threads, All right? You don't want any strands sticking out. So twist them up nicely. There you go. Okay. Now we're just going to tin them up. Let's go ahead and do that. And to do that, I'll just set them against this the handle here. Get some solder. And let's go. One, two, three, and four. And that's it. Now we can go ahead and twist them up. Well, I will wait for the, uh, I will wait for the uh, hot glue to get a little bit little right here okay so what we're going to do now based on the strong here is that we're going to come in and we're going to say we're going to touch to the battery the ground okay and we're going to touch to the vtx and the tx1 so only four all right battery ground so let's do that all right so battery and ground are the first two so battery is up here right there and ground is going to be right there sorry Perfect. ground and then we have a smart audio we'll go to the first square right here in front of battery and VTX over right here right in front of battery all right make sure that's in there good yep everything looks good there so now, whenever this glue gun is ready, let's see if it's ready yet. Eh, it's okay. Not as hot as I would like it. Oh, that burns. That burns all right. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna apply it here, and then I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun afterwards, okay? So you'll see what I'm talking about here. There we go. 
All right, now we're going to heat gun it. And that's going to get it to fall and, you know, get really warm and kind of just fall inside any cracks that exist. Okay, there we go. And then, where is that thing? And then we're going to hit it with quick air. Get that glue to dry real quick. And the reason behind that is if the glue dries like that, it's very easy to peel off in one piece if you need it off. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here. Hit it with the heat gun. Whoops, to have it spread. Make sure there's no spaces left uncovered. There we go. And then hit it with the air. Whoops, I just broke the top of the air off. Yeah, that's perfect. See, no waiting, and it will come off in one nice piece when the time comes and you need it to come off instead of having to sit there and peel it and it's breaking off and stuff. Okay, so that's one, two. Those parts are done. Camera's done. All right, so let's see where we're at now. Now we've got a cap to add, and we've got an XT60, XT30, or XT60 cable to add. I'm going to, for now, just because it's available and easy, I'm going to add... <clears throat> the XT30 cable, okay, usually I run XT60, but I'm going to add an XT30 just because, and since this is going to be a downward cable, yeah, let's just do it like that, or maybe like this. Well, darn it, okay, doesn't matter, but let's just do it like that. Okay, so we're going to cut this much off. There goes that. We're going to tin this up. So, let's go ahead now, and we've got battery and ground, so let's go ahead and attach these like we should. But, whoops, that's reversed. So here we go, battery goes on battery side, obviously. Let's get that on there, okay. Ground goes on ground side. Okay, there we go. Those two are in very solid. All right, I'm happy with that. We have our capacitor to add, but uh, tell you what, whoa. Well, there goes that. All right, let's put the ground and positive back on there. Let's see how I want to do this. Hmm. Could try it like that, I guess. Not liking that very much, but we'll see. See what it did here.
can get this to sit better. Okay. Notice this lately, but I'm surprised on this board a little bit. So let me see if I can do something about this. I have noticed that on some of these lately, I have not been able to get one of the two pads right to adhere. So let me see if I can fix that real quick because this will be a problem. If it's not taken care of, it'll be a big problem. Let's see if we can fix that. Get this off of here. See what the problem is. Let's see if that's going to hold. There's something weird about these pads on some of these boards. I've noticed it, but I really, really didn't think much of it. You know, I just worked around it, but this one seems to be giving me the worst of the trouble. That's all right. So the idea is here, we're going to fold this up. All right, everything looks good there. So right, let's do a continuity test real quick. I am eager to see if the VTX is going to be salvageable. Good there. Okay, so we're ready to give this a little bit of power. Um, I'm going to give this a little bit of glue to protect it here a little bit. Okay, sit on the other side. Okay. Our 
tenant. And this would be a miracle, I think. Well, not a true miracle, but definitely wouldn't expect this to survive. But hey, it'd be really cool if it did, right? All right, now I've got to find what camera I'm going to use to test this with. So I think maybe I have something used just sitting around so I can test the... Yeah, I'll try this one. Let's see. Does that, does that fit? I think this might fit. So I'm going to make sure the pattern, the wire pattern, the power, ground video. So hopefully if this will fit, we can at least give this HGLRC camera a chance to show us if we have video. That looks like it fits. All right. Okay, so that being said, let's go ahead and turn off our power supply and get ready to plug this in using our smoke stopper, which is right there. Okay. And we're going to turn on. And here is our monitor. Turn that on. Let's see if we get video. Or else we could get some bad stuff. Okay, so we have lights going. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, guys, I'm hoping. Not looking good so far. That's too bad. I was hoping, but I don't have any picture yet. Ah, bummer. Oh. Yeah, I don't see anything happening here. I mean, I, I do see the, the, yeah, the chance, but honestly, uh, let me see what we got. I'll have to come back to it. That's too bad. All right. So anyway, so that being said, okay, so maybe our VTX isn't, isn't working right now, but what we can do is we can test to see for anything else. Let's see if we can get our motors to work and make sure that we've got that function at least. So what we're going to do now is we'll do a one, two, three here. Whoops. One, one, two, three. There we go. Switch this over. We're getting into our beta flight. Now let's see what we've got. Hey, babe, how's it going? Good. Almost done. Okay, one thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead now and pull the power on this so that it doesn't keep cooking while I'm working. So there we go. And I guess I'll pull the... There we go. All right. So I'm going to leave these two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cap the power right now. Let's put a little holder on it so that it doesn't ground out, short out. But for the time being, there's no sense in uh, messing around with this anymore until I figure out what's going on with it. Mm 
Okay, so at the very least we can test the motors and I'll figure out the VTX here in a minute. Let's go to configuration. Uh, I'm going to take this down so that I can uh, get it into PL Heli and do a configuration of the motors here. It is disconnect. Go ahead and turn off our power real quick. Wait for that to power off. It is. Go and connect. Calibrate our motors. Let's see, 10, 12, 2004, 10, 12, 2004, 2000. That's good. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and take programming off, right? That to set up. And we'll see if everything's spinning in the right direction. So let's go to motors. Number one. Well, that's not going to be motor one, so we're going to. We're gonna have to redo the mapping, the resource mapping. But all the motors do work. Yeah, and everything looks good there. Okay, so really it looks like we may have lost the VTX. I'm gonna check on what I did with that real quick. So let me turn this off. Let me make sure I did everything uh, properly here. So let's see. And the drawing has it reversed, but let me check and see. Maybe I have it wrong. This could be on me. Didn't use my glasses, and now I'm thinking maybe I did it wrong. So hold on. Let me see if I can fix this a little bit. Hmm. One second. Oh yeah, I think that was on me. Next time I'll use the glass. So let's put the VTX here. Let's put this one. I need to solder these back on real quick. See if that little change will help. Let's do ground. Let's do positive.
How's it going out there, babe? Good. Just on my last round. Was uh, it like Panda that. RC? What? Is that the Panda RC yes. stuff? Okay. Alright, now let's see how this goes. Uh oh, out of paper. <laughs> I can hear it from here. All right, let's see. Here we go. Make sure everything looks good. Hopefully, we don't burst anything. So it is saved. Awesome. Look at that. I just need to clean this. This is really dirty. That's awesome. So I just had one in the wrong spot. Thanks to me and my glasses. And look at that. We are golden. So we have our Panda, our, I mean our, um, our, um, uh, Fresh FPV tank survived. Very proud of that because that was a hell of a beating it took. So, and everything looks like everything survived. Look, see, so we've got it. Uh, my mistake on the wiring on the first part, but uh, let me power it off now. And now I can go ahead and close this up and we could finish this build out. So there's that. I'm gonna definitely save these wires and they go, ow, 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 that's hot. All right, let's do that. that. From these, there you go. These, there you go. This one here. So here. And then this one here. All right. Now we can finish assembling it, and then we can figure out. End up looking at how it looks, right? Okay, well, this won't be the camera we use because that's for another drone. And we can disconnect this now. And let's start putting it back together. Okay, so first thing is we're going to go ahead and put the uh, Rush VTX back on the frame. Let me see how I want to do that. So. That's not going to work. That's sloppy. So let me see what I can do here. I think the most important thing is I got to get those wires out of there and make sure that the spacing on this is all accurate. Okay, because the one thing I don't want this thing doing is slamming down. So let's go ahead and just, uh, let's do this here. We don't need to bid a flight open just yet. Let's go ahead and do this here. And see how much distance we really want to go with this. Because I would have liked to have kept the wires tucked in like this. Um, but like I could see doing it maybe this way. 
But the problem is, actually, you know what? This might, this might work. Let me think about this. No, the USB is on that side. I need to make sure I have a clear path to the USB there. So that's not going to work. Tell you what, let's add a little bit of space to this thing. Uh, let's see. Crushing it. One, two, one, two, one, two, there we go. And then two more. Okay, one and two. There we go. Now we can fit the wires, I think, without any issue. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, yeah, it's going to be better. Let's go ahead and tighten this down. Okay. All right. There we go. All I need to do now is put one more fastener right in here. There we go. So we got our VTX in now, right? All these little glue strings here, we can ignore those. Got our VTX in, uh, and we're going to definitely place our receiver somewhere around that area. Uh, we can actually place it on the top here. So let's go ahead now and get our frame back on and make sure everything fits. Okay, so we got one here. Now, the question will be, can we fit a camera in here? So just for test, let me see, what can I grab, hold on. I need to get a camera. Try to find a camera very quickly here. I can pull this caddix off if I need to, I guess. Yeah, let me just grab this caddix then, just for the heck of it for now. Just a seat. Because I need to make sure I can clear the necessary space. So this caddix will be a good test. Okay, there's that. Uh, plug is gonna be different though, darn it. I think the plug might be different. Uh, let's see, five ground video, actually this might work. So then what we wanna do is we wanna see if we can clear. And, well yeah, it looks like we can. So we can still keep this to be the front. So that's great news, all right? So that really, that really helps out. So now it's time to put this back together. Let's get started with that. And this, this deal might come out looking pretty darn good by the time it's done. All right. Make sure we get around the motor wires. Yep. And we gotta make sure we get around the motor wires on this side too. And it looks like we are without any problems. So there we go. Same thing on this side. Need to get around the motor wires. I don't think that's going to be a problem here. That one here.
Make sure I don't have any wires pinched, and I don't. We need one more screw, which we'll use this one. Close out the back of this. Okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good. All right, now let's put the caddx in. So we'll put the caddx right here. Come on, I know it's gonna fit. No, you know what? It might not. Darn it. No, caddx I don't think is gonna fit. All right, so let me try this HTLRC. Each one has a different depth here that it takes, but you know what? At the end of the day, I don't think so. It looked like it was going to clear, but now looking at it, it looks like it's going to hit the top. Yep. Unless, unless I decide to keep it this. Oh, actually, hold on a second. Maybe not. I don't know if that's what's stopping it. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So, unless you want to keep it at a super steep angle. Okay, so, that being said, uh, we're going to turn this around then. So, that's all right. It'll be a workaround. Uh, I don't mind it too much. I'll just tilt the camera up for the USB, if need be. Let's see what we got. Let's try it like this then. See how successful this will be. will still be okay. We shall see. I think at the end of the day I may just take the entire setup, unscrew it, and turn it around 180 degrees. But before I do anything drastic like that, I just want to see. So let's see what we got. Put our stuff together in here. There we go. Let's go ahead and fasten our camera in place. Okay, other side. See, we can still get to the USB, so that's not going to be a problem there. That works out. I think that's going to work out just fine. Should be able to still get in there. Yep. So I can still access the USB. See? All right. So that's good. And I have my capacitor ready to be perfectly zip tied to there. So that'll work out. So then the only thing left is putting the top plate on. And getting the antenna to come out the back. Let me arrange for that. The antenna will come out right here, like it's supposed to. Yep. And we will put the receiver back up on the back plate, on the top plate, like it was. So we can put this one uh, right there. We'll turn it around so we can reach the bind button. So let's do that. There we go. Let me turn it back 
just a little bit. So we salvaged that. Now all we need to do is make this stuff look clean. Hey, Mama. Okay, I'm going to go run and grab the dog food real quick, okay? You want me to go with you? I'm about done. Yeah, if you want to. I'll go with you. Sure, I love that. Okay. All right, so there's one. I tell you my wife she's badass she supports all of this and has been a really awesome awesome factor to help me with everything and and couldn't have done it without her so thank you and to my boys the same thing all right so there's two see I just like this tape so I like the tape idea I think it's clean doesn't mean that I think it should replace heat shrinking all the time, but I definitely think it has its place. And sometimes, uh, you know, I'm kind of going with this. Uh, I like the quality of the tape. I think everything about it is good. It's definitely, 
definitely lasts a long time. Uh, it can with, withstand quite a, quite a bit of abuse. All right, how am I gonna get these wires? Let me see. So this is going to need to fold over. This is gonna be tricky, but let's see if we can make it look somewhat presentable. All right, so there we go with that part. Now we need to clean up the rest of this. So let's go ahead and just, I'm gonna drop some hot glue in here on these slots because I know that's gonna go right to the receiver below. Okay, and that's not right there, but I'm, I'm just trying to make sure that we get everything covered up as best as we can. All right, so that being said, now we'll take our X-Acto knife. to scrape off what we know we don't need okay and then heat up the rest and it'll just kind of fall in nicely so you'll see it here. whoops you'll see it here in a second if you watch that you see all those pieces and they're just gonna fall in nicely and kind of just disappear there into the here we go okay now that that's done the uh, really the only thing left to do will be to get the capacitor ready so to do that, we're gonna use one of our old methods. Hopefully I can find something that fits. Uh, I would have liked to have used like a hot, bright color, but I don't think I have anything available right now. That sucks. All right, hold on. I'm gonna have to go with, I guess, a blue. Uh, it don't match. It don't match everything else, I guess, so that's okay. Okay, so uh, let's cut that right about there. And let's drop that about there and try to make it look like a stack on a car, right? So if we can, let's see what happens. Let's try to make it look like a stack on a car. Yep, I like that. We'll take one zip tie to it. Hold it in place. And we'll hold it right here. Like this. Uh, yeah, 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 that'll work. Stay that way. It'll be fine. Doesn't need to be anything crazy tight. It's going to stay there no matter what. You just kind of get it to hold in place there, just like that. There we go. Okay. So our stack is in place. Whoops. My soldering iron fell through the napkin. My bad. Okay. And last but not least, we have our receiver wires. So if we look at this properly, look at our receiver wires, I think that we should be able to accomplish the following. Let's take our receiver wires. We'll go with the blue to keep up with the color. Blue and blue. We'll take 
what I would like to do is tuck the receiver wire in here. All right. Give me one. I think that's going to work. Okay, and then we'll do our old fashioned way of doing the wires. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one off the bottom. Let me bring it in here. Let me see. Yeah, so I'm going to swing it. Okay. Good. And now we need to add our last one, and we will be set. That one we will put here. Figure out how the heck we are going to make this fit properly. Let me see if I come in this way. Okay.
dogs are getting in trouble. Not bad. So there it is. Had the whole system redone. I uh, can get to the USB from the front without having to take anything off. There's plenty of room there. Um, just in case I want to put something on the top like a camera or anything, I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, piece of silicone uh, right there. Just And it will also make nice to cover up that area. So let me do that real quick. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just run a small strip of this. Uh, let's see, that is going to be about, oh, let's just say we're going to go 15 millimeters wide, okay, which will put us about, oh my god, these are about 30, so it'll put us right in half almost, all right, and we will take off one section just because it's got the rounded corners and I don't want to have one side with rounded corners and one side without. So, let's try that and see what happens. Not the straightest cut, but decent enough for now. Oh, look at that. And there we go. So now we've got our pad on the top, pad on the bottom. Uh, we could put our, I don't like how that overhangs a little bit, so let me just cut, there we go, perfect, and there you have it. So, at the end of the day, uh, with everything in place, I may put a little bit of hot glue right there to hold onto that cap, but other than that, I would say that this is a complete success, everything fit perfectly, I'm happy with the way it looks, I'm happy with everything else, and I know that once we fire this up, uh, we have ourselves a good drone. Okay, I will bind it to my transmitter. We will go on a test flight shortly. And I will even use the burned, well, I will try it to at least use the burned uh, props. There's only one that's really burned that bad. There you go. And we saw that we have video, right? I should test it again just to make sure. There it is. So we got our video working. So we saved our camera. Uh-oh, it's going to interfere. I think the Wi-Fi is going to interfere with our setup. Okay, guys. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'll show you what we got here. I was hoping the Wi-Fi didn't kill it. So uh, we started, as you know, with the board that was completely burned from the fire that we had here uh, while flying it. It was my mistake, and so it caught on fire. I'm trying to find that board now to show you the comparison, but I don't know where to put it. Somewhere here. Oh, here it is. So we started with this, right? This is the burn board. Holy, it's a terrible picture. Why is it like that? Uh, anyways, um, let's see if we get some lighting here. Mm, still grainy. All right, so uh, we had that board. Yeah, let's try that. Man, it's still crappy. Okay, and it looked like that. It was pretty burnt, burned pretty bad. And, uh, and we replaced the board. Let me see if I can clean that. I don't know if that's going to help. Nope, didn't help at all. And this is our end result. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There. And that's our end result right there. Came out nice. Uh, same frame. We were able to clean the frame up. Uh, got to use the VTX and the receiver and everything else. Motors are still good. Cleaned off the wires, uh, the, uh, the uh, heat shrink tubing. So there you go. So uh, I'd say it's a good success. Uh, we'll go fly it, but everything else seems to function fine. That's with the new Zeus 35, which is replacing the burned Zeus that's right here. All right, guys, if you have any questions, hit me up at targetcyclonefpv.com. If not, uh, you can always, yeah, hit me up there. And then please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'd always appreciate it, all right? Other than that, God bless. Have fun. Uh, looks like we lost our video now. 
Um, not sure what happened. But we'll talk to you soon, okay? Uh, the VTX is interfering. Talk to you soon, guys. God bless. Have fun. Spend time with your family. Fly safe. And what do you want me to say, babe? No, yeah, there's... <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> One day. All right. See you guys later. Bye.